Oh, hello. I'm Leo Jenkins, professional dirtbag. Today I thought I'd show you how to keep your favorite adult beverage cold while you're camped out on the beach for days or weeks on end. All right, let's work from the top down. Panels. I chose to go with two 100 watt grape solar panels uh, because of the flexibility here. They're only about a quarter inch thick, so they're pretty pliable, uh, which is good. They've been durable. This one actually flew off my roof because I didn't secure it quite properly the first time. Doing about 50 miles an hour, and it's still working great. So they are they're pretty uh, they're pretty durable. I've got these attached here. You can see with um, some heavy duty zip ties is all. I didn't really feel comfortable drilling into the roof and more than I absolutely had to. So I went with these, they're 175 pounds test each. And I've got, as you can see, uh, four. Uh, these particular panels come with a grommet, so they're really easy uh, to do that with. You'll notice here I've got clearance between the panel and the roof. That's because heat is not good for these, right? It's gonna kill the efficiency of them. The more heat, right, the top of that roof, it gets real hot. The more heat that's under that panel, it's gonna kill your efficiency. So you want a little bit of a gap underneath. That's gonna help um, to be able to pull as much power as possible. The other thing that's nice about these, as you can see, they're a little bit flexible. So um, you can kind of orient in the, them in a way that they're gonna pull as much sun as possible. Uh, so all I have here is a Yakima rack, um, crossbar, and just zip tied it on each one of those corners and it works great i've driven so far uh, from phoenix to south of mozzalon with them uh, doing about 70 miles an hour the entire time it's been about 1200 miles no problems with them whatsoever up here all right so next we're going to look at um, what's drawing that energy in all right storing it and then converting it into the power that we're going to need all right so it's, i've actually got a hole coming down and through um, behind the driver's seat and then attached into this Goal Zero Yeti 400. All right, so this has got a battery inside of it. We can see right here uh, that currently I'm drawing in uh, an inconsistent amount. There's probably some clouds going over, uh, but 70 to 80 watts right now from those two 100 watt panels. Uh, about half an hour ago, it was pulling about 140 watts. Um, the most that I've seen those two single 100 watt panels draw together has been about 140 watts. So that you are losing a little bit with the cables with a conversion when you convert a different type of a panel into a goal zero system here. All right. So again, this is 400 watts. I've got two different uh, 110 outlets I've got two USBs a single 12 volt all right which is going to be the most efficient thing to plug anything into this is the most efficient outlet and you can see right now I'm drawing zero watts if I just turn on the 12 volt or uh, sorry the 110 it's already going to pull five watts for my power system just to turn this on whereas we see at the 12 volt it's not pulling anything right because it's not having to convert that power over now when i originally got this i thought this was going to be enough this 400 watt generator um, it's it wasn't um, mainly because i have a large refrigerator that i'm trying to keep my beer cold in uh, so what i did since goal zero doesn't make an um, um this is their mid-range. They have a really uh, large Yeti, they have this mid-range Yeti, and then a smaller one. The large one was just too big, uh, it was a little bit too pricey, it was well over $1,000. Um, I was gonna go with two of these 400s. There's a way to kind of daisy chain them together. Uh, that was also very pricey. So what I did was, I kind of Frankenstein it, and I attached another 35 amp hour battery, which is equivalent to what's already in here, uh, so that this system now goes from being a 400 watt system to an 800 watt system. This battery cost me $100 compared to the $460 that this Goal Zero uh, system is gonna cost, all right? So again, and these cables were maybe $5. So for around $100, I was able to double the size of this system. And again, the purpose of this whole thing is for right here. Um, I've got my winter 45 quart refrigerator chilled down to 35 degrees. I can set this up and down, it flashes. This thing is really very efficient. And then in here, the most important commodity, is my cold beer. Alright. Quick recap. If you want to keep your beer cold for a day, a week, who knows, maybe a year while you're traveling around in your van, 
you need some panels obviously my suggestion 200 watts or more um, if you're going to have any kind of refrigeration system absolutely 200 or more um, if you're going to be charging laptops having a fan um, any of those types of things batteries um, that need to be recharged 200 watts is probably a minimum um, if not even more you're going to need something to store all that power in battery again a single 33 to 35 amp hour is probably not going to do it for you if you are um, going to have all of that uh, all of that electronic equipment and then you're going to need an inverter again the goal zero i really like it everything is compact uh, the the biggest one they made was a little too big the medium sized one was a little too small i rigged it up for a hundred dollars added another um, another battery to that and it's been working great um, it's powering my 45 quart refrigerator life is good yeah I'm trying to get famous on the internet. Get out of here. Get out of here.